Day by Day by Doug and the Slugs. Here's a quick run through. Here's a fifth string open A for tuning. So I'll show you the, the bass line, or at least what I think is the bass line, because it's kind of hard to hear. Um, we're going to the fifth fret of the fifth string, and then we're going to the third fret of the sixth, and then the fifth fret of the sixth. And you're going to lightly palm mute these notes with your uh, with your palm on your right hand. All right, get the idea there. And then, of course, there's that main uh, guitar part. We're using the, uh, the two middle strings, the fourth and the third. You're going to bar them right here. This is the seventh fret. And um, the only notes that are changing here is we're putting our pinky up here to the eleventh, uh, and then we're putting our ring finger or your second finger here down to the uh, ninth. And you're only changing that string, but you're playing uh, both of them at the same time. And of course, you're lightly palm muting them also. too hard. Then moving down. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So what we're doing there is we're, uh, for this part, I guess we're just going to leave out the high E and the low E, so the, the sixth and the first string. And we're doing all this on the fifth, fourth, and third. Now you're starting on an A, which is uh, fifth string open and everything else on the second fret. <laughs> And you're going to put your second finger right here on the third fret, the second string, and your third finger right here on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And you're taking those two fingers off and on. Then, of course, during the verse, uh, we're just going to a G. Then to an A. Now I do a little bit of a run there. It kind of helps uh, mimic the melody. Um, you, you're doing this all on the second string as after you strum the chord. So it's basically on the second string, second fret, third, fifth. show you my other hand there. Okay. Now the first uh, few times, or the first two or three cor uh, revert courses, sorry, you uh, after you've done that, you just go to a D, and then back into the, all right, but the um, the last couple of times, um, he changes it up a bit and goes to and then back. 
So uh, he's doing the first part the same. The last time you do that A chord, all you're going to do is um, take this finger off of that uh, fourth string and let it open, and but keep it here on the uh, second fret of the third string. And then you're going to take your pinky off and on. And it's basically a D with that added E. Try not to play the fourth or the fifth string. So once again, we're going. Mm -hmm. 